A group of women who served during World War II could soon be recognized with the Congressional Gold Medal. The Women Air Force Service Pilots, or WASPs, were, they went unrecognized by the government for decades, but a new bill could change all that. Katie Crossy spoke to a WASP veteran and she joins us now with more. Gwen, when 87-year-old Marion Stegeman Hodson was 21, she became a WASP. She and the other women flew every kind of aircraft to bases all over the country. That freed up male pilots to fly overseas. Here I was on open post as a young gal, 21, long time ago. Nearly seven decades ago, Marion Stegeman Hodson volunteered for an unforgettable ride. Well, we were at war. Our country had been attacked and they needed pilots desperately. During Army Air Corps training, Marion's days were filled with work and what she calls interesting situations with her male counterparts. Their barracks were right next to ours and there were no shades on the windows, so... If we forgot to duck and walk around all crouched over like Groucho Marx, this is what we would hear through the window. <laughs> For the next year and a half, Marion and the other wasps proved themselves in the sky. Airplanes don't know the difference between a man and a woman. Marion has written a book about how she served, fell in love, and married a Marine. She dedicated it to the 38 wasps who died in the line of duty. And even now, as their numbers dwindle, well, most of my good friends have gone on to that great airport in the sky. <laughs> Marion has to look no further than the cover of a 1943 Life magazine to see a picture of her old roommate, Shirley Slade. We'd gone around for days with makeup on and rolling our hair up at night, hoping we would be, wind up on the cover of Life. And she came out with the hair and pigtails and no makeup, and he said, there's the cover of Life. Marion says she and the other girls basked in reflected glory when they saw the cover. There's a ring on her little finger. On her deathbed, she gave me that ring. So every time I look at it, I think of Shirley, and that's the way I remember her best. As for the prospect of a congressional gold medal, fellow World War II pilot Bill English says he's all for it. People think of that, uh, the World War II as a, as a man's enterprise. And uh, I think they, uh, they need to know that uh, women made sacrifices as well as the men. It's like God's grace. It's completely undeserved as far as I'm concerned and free. So it's a wonderful surprise and a wonderful honor. And I'll take it. Kay Bailey Hutchison was one of the senators who introduced the bill and all 17 women in the Senate co